Hello, this is Miguel Gomez at AIDS 2014 in Melbourne, Australia, talking to a colleague, Dr. Gina Brown. Dr. Brown, could you share some of the reflections, given your work with women and girls, that you've seen here at this conference? It's been a very interesting change of the way that we look at women. For the first time, I think, in a big way, we're looking at unpacking the issues that go along with a woman other than simply being part of mother-to-child transmission or simply looking at her health, but trying to understand the things that are social and behavioral that can actually impact her health and also impact her ability to go along with some of the interventions that have been shown to, to work in terms of preventing HIV infection. That's been a real difference. I think any number of the speakers have talked about everything from women who've been involved in studies, the B plus studies who don't necessarily do follow up after they've delivered, mm -hmm. even though we've put together quite a nice intervention. And, uh, and researchers are trying to better understand what it is that they need to do and how they need to involve women more actively in the formation of these interventions. Thank you, and there's been a lot of conversation about gender-based violence. Could you share reflections on what you've heard? Right, this is actually quite a difference too for this conference. There have been a number of sessions on gender-based violence. And I think that we're at a tipping point both nationally and internationally looking at the role of gender-based violence and HIV infection um, and people are starting to unpack that understanding that it's not always physical violence or sexual violence but it's also the emotional violence that it can impede a woman's ability to take care of herself. Well thank you so much for joining us. This is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov.